ओके सो नाउ विल स्टार्ट जस्ट 2019 एंड दिस इज बुकलेट सीरीज ए एंड द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज लेट आर बी द पोजिशन वेक्टर ऑफ ए पॉइंट ऑन ए क्लोज कॉन्टोर सी व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द लाइन इंट्रीगल क्लोज इंट्रीगेशन ऑफ आर डॉट डी आई एंड यू आर गिवेन फोर ऑप्शन सो फर्स्ट क्लोज इंट्रीग्रेशन ऑफ आर डॉट डी आर सो वी नो दैट वी कैन यूज यर स्टोक्स थियरम so from stokes theorem close integration of r dot d r is surface integral of curl of r dot d s so we know that curl of r is zero or if you want to check that then r is i cap x plus j cap y plus k cap z then curl of r is this is i cap j cap k cap del del x del del y and del del z and this is x y and z and now so this is del del y z minus del del z y minus of j cap del del x y minus del del z x plus of k cap del del x y minus del del y x so this is basically zero so the correct option is option a now question number 2 a dc voltage of 80 volt is switched on across a circuit containing a resistance of 5 ohm in series with an inductance of 20 henry what is the rate of change of current at the instant when the current is 12 ampere so if this is a 5 ohm resistance is connected in series with an inductance l which is 20 henry and this is connected with a voltage dc voltage v is 80 voltage and current is passing through this so just using the uh, kvl so using kvl we can see that this is minus of v plus of ir plus l d i d t is zero so we have to find out that rate of change of current this so l d i d t is v minus i r then d i d t is v minus i r divided by l so dc voltage v is 80 current is 12 ampere and resistance is 5 ohm and inductance is 20 henry so 80 minus 60 divided by 20 which is 20 divided by 20 is 1 ampere per second so the correct option is answer b here's the question number 3 Consider the function f of x y is mod of x minus iota mod of y, in which domain of the complex plane is the function analytic. So f of x and y is mod of x minus iota mod of y. So we know that there is four quadrants. This is one. This is two. This is three, and this is four. so in first quadrant x is positive y is positive so for first quadrant we can write f of x is x minus of i y so this is basically z bar in second in second quadrant x is negative y is positive so we can write here f of x y is minus of x minus of iota y which is minus of x plus iota y is minus of z then in the third quadrant 
x is negative y is also negative yeah so here x is negative that means x negative y is also negative that means iota y which is minus of z bar and in the fourth quadrant x is positive and y is negative so here x y is negative so plus of iota y is z so we know that z bar is not analytic so here z and minus of z is analytic that means in the second quadrant and in the fourth quadrant z is analytic so the correct option is answer c now question number four consider the following transformation of the phase space coordinate small qp to capital qp q is q to the power alpha cos bp and p is q to the power a sin bp for what values of a and b will be transformation be canonical so here q is q to the power a cos bp and p is q to the power a sin b p we know that poisson bracket is 1 when the qp is canonical so from here del q this is qp so del p del small p minus del capital q small p and del p small q is 1 so from here we can see that del q small q is a q to the power alpha a minus 1 cos bp then del q del p is b minus of b q to the power a sin bp then del p del q is a q to the power a minus 1 uh, sin bp and then del p del p is p q to the power a minus 1 sin sorry this is cos bp just put this values on this del q del q so a q to the power a minus 1 cos bp then this into b q to the power sorry this is cos bp minus del q del p so this will be plus then b q to the power a sin b p into q is a q to the power a minus 1 sin b p is 1 so from here a b q to the power a minus 1 cos square b p plus a b q to the power this will be 2a 2a minus 1 sin square bp equal to 1 so this is a b q to the power 2a minus 1 is 1 we can write this q to the power 0 which is also 1 so from this 2a minus 1 is 0 so here alpha is half and then a beta a b is 1 so this is a sorry so b is 2 so here the correct option is answer is b now question number 5 is what is the binding energy of an electron in the ground state of he plus ion and you were given four options so we know for hydrogen like atom E is minus of 13.6 Z square divided by N square. So for helium, we know for helium Z is 2. And they have asked that ground state that means N is 1. 
just put this value that minus 13.6 into 2 square divided by 1 square which is minus 13.6 into 4 which is minus of 54.4 electron volt so they have only deal with the magnitude so the correct option is here is option D that 54.4